It's an experience a lot of women recognize. Walking down the street and a stranger yells out a sexual comment or whistles at them. These are forms of catcalling. And even if it's intended as a compliment, it can make the receiver feel unsafe. Elizabeth Shores has more. 2018 national study by the organization Stop Street Harassment says more than three in four women say they've experienced some form of verbal sexual harassment at some point. The report says this happens in public spaces most often. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon for women to experience their first cat call at a young age. Cassandra Harmon was 12 when it happened to her for the first time. I want to say that they were high schoolers maybe or young adults and they like would cat call me all the time when we, whenever we'd walk around town. It's a memory that's ingrained in Harmon's memory. She even remembers what she was wearing, a skirt and a frilly shirt. I asked her how often it happens to her. Every time I come to Bismarck, which is just about every single weekend. Kristen Nelson was 10 or 11 when she was catcalled for the first time. You know, teenage boys just like chasing me down in their car, hollering at me, and then like speeding away. Because of her experiences growing up and from all the warnings she'd received, she developed a fear of going outside. The time that sticks out most to her is when she was walking with her brother. She says her brother yelled back at the man while she sprinted home. I just think it's them showing that they don't have respect for women in general. Nelson says most of the cat calling she experiences happens in Bismarck. Even though it's most common for men to cat call women, it does happen to men, about one in three to be exact. Cause North Dakota's Allison Weedrick says cat calling does more than make people feel uncomfortable. Cat calling and street harassment may seem more of a minimal thing, um, but it really is contributing to a culture that accepts violence and accepts objectification of women and accepts um, intimidation and using power and control over another person. But catcalling isn't reported all that often. The Bismarck Police Department says it has no reports of it. A lot of women say they just ignore a cat call when it happens, even though it scares them. However, the police say if it happens by a specific person repeatedly, it can turn into a disorderly conduct or harassment charge. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores reporting for your news leader. Cause North Dakota says anyone who's experiencing sexual harassment and who wants help can reach out to their office. And that number, 701-255-6240.